What else is on our list today? Oh, our DC poll list is on our list today. We're I talking about. I forgot all about that, sir. No. <laughs> There's Ryan's so much already. on our plate today. Okay, we got to just jump right into it. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Shall we just start with? Yeah, I like how you said it before. Like, like first we start with the work, and then we get into the fun. And the oh. work is making sure that you're doing your comic books on time and putting your orders in. Vegetables before Vegetables. dessert. Exactly. Vegetables before dessert. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys. Okay. And we're going to preface it. We always do it. It's going to get kind of old. So we're going to try to make it quick every single time. But if you are looking to want to get into reading comic books, you have to order your comic books. And if you want to order your comic books, you need a local comic shop, also known as an LCS. Right. What does LCS stand for? Local comic shop. Fire guy Ryan in the house. And if you want to become a member of an LCS, what's some ways that they can do that? Google. You Google it. You right. look on Google Maps or, or Apple. You could also use Bing. You can use Bing. You can ask Jeeves. You can do a lot of different things. Yes. You can ask Jem Mint. Your boy Jem Mint. And see where he tells you to go. <laughs> but see, okay, what we recommend you do like is button. find, and that's a good one. You got to find your LCS and go become a member. Now, some members, some members of our community don't live close to an LCS. Right. All right. If that's the case, you got to try to find one. But if you can't find one because it's not anywhere near you or you maybe you're getting tired of your lcs i like to say go check again go give them another try give we'll get into that too try. that's a yeah. that's a whole thing we'll talk about that too but bottom line if you've exhausted all your other options you can join our lcs not my shop like i don't own this shop not ryan's shop you work there yes we're talking about milgi comics russ the comic sensei you know him from our trending videos he's been on the youtube channel for since it's infancy and we have an ability to serve the community around the world through his poll box literally a shelf at his box you'll have a label with your name and we'll make sure the comics go in there and stuff i print the labels yeah ryan is the one who makes sure that your orders get in right and get i to put you. the books in, in behind the labels i make i touch all of your comics he does and he touches them intimately in yes. an appropriate way. Russ yells at me for wasting so much time. He's like, Ryan, what's taking so long? And I said, this is the part where I caress every single book before sending it out. And then he's like, don't do that. That's weird. You got to give that comic karma love to every single member. But I exactly. digress because this is how you uh, join uh, Mill Geek Comics pull list. Okay, comic fam? You have to go to uh, Mill Geek Comics over on... Is this the tip? Yeah, no, that's not it. Over on millgeekcomics.com. You hit the Patreon link. What's going to happen is you're going to join Patreon, Mill Geek Comics Patreon for $10 a month. Side note, you're supporting LCS. That's cool. But that's not the main reason why you do this. You do this to get free shipping because you get access to this. DC Connect. That's right. This right here is Ryan's, how many hours a month do you spend on this? I don't like to think about it. Several. Several hours. Several days. It takes him <laughs> like days it's... because DC has made it. Uh, like like the freaking old age, like the like the like what was the best way to put it? Like the Stone Age. They've taken a few are, steps back. Yes. Yeah, they take a few few steps back, and you need to have someone like manually putting your orders. But now we are doing the work for the comic fam, so that you can order comics like you used to. If you have ever ordered comics online, you click the button, you put it in your cart, and that brings us to what right. you can do every month. Because if you want to read comics, you got to put your comic orders in. Right. You have to do it three months in advance, too, That's which right. is how all comics are solicited. So we're going to go into some of the books that interest us, and we're just going to jump right into it. Um, first off, this one, we have the new Batman. Um, during the Future State, surprisingly good. I wasn't. Right? I didn't have any, like... Eh, there's some hit the hits and misses during Future oh, State. Well, specifically, the new Batman is right. really where I was, like, super uh, impressed with. You know, we have Jace Fox... Which, spoiler, if you weren't up on Future State half a year ago when this was happening, we had the reveal that um, Jace Fox is the Batman of the future. Correct. So I think it was like a four issue. Four issues of the next Batman. That's right. That's what it was called. Four issues. And it was a lot of fun. And the thing I liked about Jace Fox is that he also has the no kill rule. We got a little teaser about 
why that is. He feels a lot of guilt behind how he came to be Batman. We also see narratives taking place in the future. There's drones. It's kind of like a almost Judge Dredd type of world in the future state. Right, and future state only lasted for like a month. I think it was a month or two. I can't remember, honestly, afterwards. But there has been, there's a currently a next Batman short series going on right now that's like four issues. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the only character they've really kind of continued on with after Future State. So it looks like this is going to be the start of another series. So tell us about this. Him. We have I Am Batman Zero cover A. Take a look at this. It looks really cool. And we're about to get a little bit of a uh, like more backstory on this character. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the series that's going on right now is kind of based around him and his family and why he's deciding to become Batman, right? It's kind of like a lot of a lot of origin story build up on that stuff. And this new series is going to be the next step. Looks like it's him literally putting on the costume here and like you're kind of seeing the pieces of Future State fall into place. Comic fam, let me know if you've read any of the new Batman comics that have come out. And I'd love to know if you're going to be picking this one up because both Ryan and I will be doing so. Just like this next book on the list, you know I love me some Jessica Cruz. Um, the whole, Green Lantern. I got more into Green Lantern after meeting you, Ryan. Yes. And this particular character resonated with me because of the fear that she has. She was like, I mean, in her origin story, she was like... Um, she agoraphobic trapped herself in her apartment. Yeah. She I was think like, that's the word. Yeah, agoraphobic. A... Like she's like wouldn't go outside. Like she's scared to leave the house because she witnessed mur- her friends get murdered. Right. And she had a good reason way. to not want to leave the house, unlike me. Yeah. And her narrative through re- was rebirth. I- I- I'm showing how she, her, her terrible my origin was in the is. Justice League New Fifty Two series that yes. Jeff Johns did. But then that led into like the Dark Side War, and that's right. really when it got amped up with like. It was, a, it was a fantastic time. It made me fall in love with the character and want to read more Green Lantern narratives. And here we have an annual number one that's showing her in the yellow costume. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Just on, just on that alone. Like, obviously, I'm going to get in the Green Lantern series anyway. And the Green Lantern series that's been going on right now has been a slow build. It hasn't been as cool as I wanted right out the gate, but it's only three issues in. It'll get there. However, just on seeing this cover alone for the annual... And the variant cover, by the way, which looks even spicier. Take a look at the variant. Oh, my gosh. I'm oh, getting yeah. that. Oh, yeah. David Nakayama, baby. So dope. DNA. All right. Here we go, Jessica Cruz. Um, and and what, what's going on with this book? She's becoming a yellow lantern, it looks like. I'm assuming it will not be a permanent change. She doesn't strike me as somebody. Her powers are really tied to the whole Green Lantern ring that feeds off fear. So it's right, kind of hard to imagine that going away. It does make it's sense. Like the best the, part of the character. The yellow rings, though, are based on like you said, are based on fear. So, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, it's scary to see her kind of taking a turn like this, but if you think about it, like she makes kind of sense as Mm -hmm. somebody who would be susceptible to the powers of fear because she spent all that time trapped in her own apartment on purpose. All right, next one on the list here, Hill House box set. So here's the thing. Um, Let me bring it back here to the main cam. Hill House, it was... was Disappointing. Disappointing. It it was. Let's just say how it was. It was disappointing. It was like two of the comics out of the, I think it was six of them. Right. If you count the backstory, the, 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 the story in the back, the sea dogs. That I, like, I didn't realize until I read the description here, but that's like the main reason I would be interested in buying this box set. I'm not getting the box set because I have all the single issues, but they collect all the different series in its own trade, including the backup story. They put there the sea go. dogs story into its own book so you don't have to get every single issue of Hill House to read that story. Yeah, um, the I'm forgetting the name of it, but with the doll, dollhouse, dollhouse family. Yeah, I was really excited about dollhouse. That was a bit of a letdown for me. I did like the whole placenta. I don't know that if you remember fun. that comic, fam. That was a great. We broke turn down that event. whole series last year. Yeah, we did. We did break down that series. Basket full of heads was good. Yeah, it was alright. Plunge was okay. Plunge I mean, was, I like plunge. All in all, it was it was it was fine to not so fine. True, but sea dogs. The that option, is one. Yes, to have that because, in its own collective because, volume. Because, dude, you had to read, like, so many comics out of order. And right. To an extent, it sounds like a good idea, but when you're looking at, like, 30-plus issues and you're trying to read it, even on the app, you know, like, you're going through the, the DC app and you're, like, trying to read them, it's like you're hopping around, which issue, and you're looking through the, the list of... Uh, well, the, the order, order they were released in back in the day because oh, you got to read it in chronological order. It's a mess. And like the option to read that standalone in a standalone trade is is enticing. All right. This next one right here, we have Batman 89. Um, this one is looking so good. Okay. I'm a big fan of Tim Burton's Batman. Right. I know 
Russ is a fan of Tim Burton's Batman. Yes, he is. And this right here basically picks up from the movie is what it seems like. That's what it looks like. I, I, I had trouble figuring out if it was a sequel to the first movie and they were just kind of bridging the gap between Batman and Batman Returns or if this is a sequel to Batman Returns and following what happens after the end of Tim Burton's second movie in the uh, original Batman series. Well, it says they got Sam Hamm on it, which right? is the... One of the screenwriters, screenwriters from the original movie. From the movie. So right. this is when it's like, you gotta at least see... It'll be cool just thinking. to jump back into that universe again. Like all the way, like even the cover, it looks, it looks so much like the movie did, you know, like the steam everywhere and how dark and shadowy it is and the font, yeah. the logo. It's, ugh, I'm just attached to it. Cause that's also the year I was born. There you go. If you like the Tim Burton Batmans, this one is a must for your They're also list. doing a Superman one, but I didn't highlight that one because hot take, I'm not really a big fan of the Christopher Reeve Superman movie, but we can move past that because that doesn't get me a lot of friends when I say that. Well, this next one, Batman Fear State Alpha is one that I will be picking up. Um, this one is, is James Tynan the fourth, correct? correct? Yes, yeah, James. Oh, of course it is because it's going to follow the scarecrow. So many Joker narratives and there's right. a lot of cool Batman villains, but he really like reintroduced the scarecrow recently with a new design looking fantastic. And this book is going to be one that focuses on a villain that I think doesn't get enough love. Scarecrow has been kind of like the architect right now in the in the main Batman series. Like he's currently the the villain right now. So this looks like it's an event. They're building to an, a Batman event. And what's the last time you had an event where the Scarecrow was heavily part of it? And we're gonna get some Poison Ivy in here too. Correct. Like I'm 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 just kind of sick of Joker. I love Joker, but like Joker War was the last main Batman event, and I didn't really care honestly. So, so this next one here, we have Batman Secret Files Clown Hunter Clown number Hunter. one, dude. Okay. For as many characters as James has created, this one was so fleshed out. The backstory was so intriguing, so much depth. And I really, uh, Butch is just shedding like crazy. You can't see it off camera here, but but Ryan's like fanning my cat. Right. I'm like, what? Did I he thought do? he farted. That might have been me. <laughs> but no. <laughs> or no, you. For all I know. It could be me, man, across the room. No, no. But we have Clown Hunter, who's going to be getting his own one shot. And this is a character that I'm just... I'm like all in on. I just want to read more about him. He had such an aggressive introduction, uh, introduction yeah. to who he was. But we actually found out kind of early on that he wasn't going to live that life. Because if you don't forget, he let Harley Quinn live when he didn't have to. Right. But that kind of went against his entire origin story where he was hunting down clowns, lighting them on fire. He's a little hardcore kid. Dude, I like him, And man. James Tynan, like you were saying, he introduced a whole bunch of characters in his Batman run so far. Not all of them have landed, but uh, Clown Hunter is a personal favorite of mine, so I'm, I'm glad to see. He's also been lying kind of low lately. Like, Clown Hunter hasn't been around in the last few years. They were saving him, dude. I think they are saving him for this. I'm glad. You know what else is going to be really exciting coming up? This Even book. though we were just not that, you know, we were just expressing <laughs> Joker fatigue. I'm still going to get that. <laughs> so uh, I'm, a, um, I'm a liar. Well, it's well. first off, even if, even if you have Joker fatigue, it doesn't matter because when Chip Zdarsky is writing something, just the cover. You, you do this move right here. You just you don't even he have to read. He just drew the cover, though. He didn't, he didn't write it. Oh. I wish. What did he do? He drew the cover. He's oh, he did? Too. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. I didn't he realize drew, he drew it. He drew cover A. Oh, my bad. It's Chip Matthew Zdarsky. Rosenberg who's the writer. Oh, I'm, of I'm course. Not, I knew that. I knew Matthew Rosenberg did that. My bad. I am not right. as familiar with him. But um, we have a narrative that sounds almost like an anthology series. It sounds confusing. I think that's kind of the point, right? And it's Joker in an interrogation room. So um, the, the way that you put this to me, you're like, dude, you remember the scene from uh, Dark Knight Returns? It's just Dark Knight, right? Dark Knight? With Joker. Yeah. No, dark, no, it's a... Uh, oh, Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Batman Begins in Dark Knight. Okay, so during Dark Knight where he's being interrogated, he's at... Uh, that's Gotham like my PD. favorite Batman scene in any Batman movie. Well, this sounds like we're going to see like multiple anthology, uh, multiple multiple stories based at Gotham PD in an interrogation room of some sort. Right, they're not being they're not explaining a whole lot in the solicitation here, which It says I 24 like. hours. They got 24 hours they're going to be meeting someone at Gotham PD and this particular issue, issue 1 is an interrogation of the Joker. But he's already captured. It's a Joker yeah. story where he's not out causing chaos in the city. He's captured in the in the police headquarters. They're trying to get info out of him. So I think I think it, it's going to lend itself to more of like a, hopefully, like a Joker killer smile kind of vibe. Which I'm all for. And last but not least, we have dun 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 dun, the book Ugh. that I cannot recommend enough. We have Nice House on the Lake, issue number three. Get this comic book. 
James Tynan the fourth. We're going to talk about this book shortly. That's all I need to say. Comic fam, read your comics and you'll be happy that you ordered them in advance because then you don't have to kick yourself later for missing it, right. you know, for, for going, oh, wow, I didn't, why didn't I pick up issue one? Everything James does essentially gets optioned as well as get, is it's getting good a to ton read. of praise. Yeah. And you don't want to miss out, especially on this book that we're going to get to in just a little bit.